Hi, so we're back and we're working on our barn door. Um, we just saw that we had it all done as far as constructed. And as you can see here, it is all laid out and ready to go. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to sand it. In the last video, you saw that we actually built the rough door. And here's a picture of what we're going to be working on standing and finishing in this video. Want to make sure that it gets nice and smooth and we kind of rough some of the corner edges so it'll take the stain and look rustic but classy. So here we go. Let's put on a mask because my allergies are bad and pine is my enemy. have the door sanded uh, it's time to put some stain on but before I put it on I'm going to try three different types of stain on a scrap piece of wood that's the same type of wood that we're going to use here because I want to make sure that the color that we choose is actually going to look good on the door because once you put the stain on the door uh, it gets down in the wood and then you have to sand it or plane it and at this point that is not a fun task so I've got three different colors I'm going to try natural a colonial maple and golden pecan all mid wax wood finishes they work really really well so let's just take a look here and see how each one of them looks on the test piece of wood start with the golden oak very very popular color and we'll just put it there's very very orange and all right there's the golden oak let's try the colonial maple now it's going to be a little more red Definitely more red. And then we'll try the natural, which is going to be hardly any color, if any at all. Most of it's just to give to bring out the luster in the wood. I know that's probably what my wife is going to want, even though most of the wood that we have in the house is a little bit darker in color. So now we we'll leave those sitting on there just for a few moments. And then we take a rag, and if we come back over here and just wipe it off the top, we get a better idea of what it'll actually look like. As you can see, depending on the wood grain, uh, it'll take the stain differently. You get a little idea of the three different colors. There's natural, uh, the colonial maple, which... Uh, it does some really strange red stuff. And then, of course, the golden pecan, which is really um, pretty common. Golden oak is another color that we might try. Uh, but I think we're either going to go with the natural or the golden pecan. Um, dark brown doesn't really work in my house, but um, we'll see. Anyway, do a test on a separate piece before you put it on your door. So to my surprise... Um, Red oak, the dark one, on the front. That's what's going to go on the front of the door. But since the back is a little more porous, we're going to use golden oak on the back, which uh, does not, when it soaks in, it's not quite as dark. Otherwise, it looks dark brown, and on the back side, I don't want it dark brown. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to get started, and get both of these doors stained, both sides of the door.
So now that we got it stained, I thought I'd give you just a little look at it. Of course, the light in here changes depending on which one hits it, whether it's a fluorescent light or the incandescent light. But you can see here, see the top of the door. Now all we got to do is put polyurethane on it, and that sucker will be ready to go in and put on the track. What I'm doing now is I'm measuring to locate the first roller on the door. I'm going to locate it according to the instructions, lay it in place, line it up, make sure that it's exactly where it needs to be because there's an exact dimension it needs to be off the top of the door so that you're able to make sure you have clearance for the bar that goes above the door jamb. So once I get it marked, I'll lay that bar in place, locate my screw holes, and then I'll go ahead and mark those so that I can drill those holes all the way through to carry the bolts that are going to hold on the track. You want to make sure that you're really careful when you're drilling here to make sure there's a backer board behind the door so that way you don't blow out the other side of your drill hole. So once we get it all cleaned off, we'll double check to make sure that our holes are exactly where they need to be. Test with the screws. We'll hand tighten them down into the hole. I'll get a nut driver to go ahead and drill them all the way down. Then we'll lift the door up. so that we can turn it over and go ahead and put the nuts and the washers that come with the hardware kit. Now this hardware kit I purchased was off of Amazon. It was right at about $60 for a six foot door track. Uh, you can get them at your local home centers. Uh, they're gonna run about $160 per kit if you buy them locally. Uh, but the kit that it, I've included in the links down below the video for this on Amazon is a really well-built well hardware kit. I highly recommend it. Um, high quality. And all the parts are there and the instructions were really, really good and easy to follow. So we'll get the nuts tightened down. Good and snug. And there we go. So now you want to take your 1x4 that I pre-stained in polyurethane and we're going to locate the center of the track that we're going to mount to the board. This board is going to go over the top of the door and the reason why I'm using this board is because so often your door studs don't line up um, even the holes even though the holes on the door track are such that they're at 16 inches on center so often uh, much construction doesn't line up the way you want it to. So this board will be screwed directly to the studs and then of course our track will be screwed to the board. Now what I'm doing here is I'm marking the track because it's a little long at six foot six inches and I'm going to cut the ends off of it. And then once I have it centered on the board I'm going to pre-drill and countersink my holes into the board so that I know exactly where to put the bolt. So I've cut the board or cut the strip, lay it on the board, make sure everything lines up the way it's supposed to. And then I'm going to show you the lag bolts that come with the hardware kit that we're going to use to attach that along with the spacers and washers that come with it. Now this is the standard spacer that sits behind the track against the board. This is how the screw goes into it. And there they are. So now we're inside the house and what I'm going to do is I'm going to locate the bottom of the board based on the dimensions that come with the hardware kit. The hardware kit will actually tell you what dimension to locate it at the top of the door. So just follow the instructions. Now I'm taking my stud finder to locate the studs on the wall. So we can mark those so we know exactly where to screw our board in that the hardware kit will mount to. It's important to go ahead and double check with your tape measure that they're 16 inches on center. Now we'll put the board up above the door. We'll line it up exactly at the mark 
We'll check it with the level to make sure it's completely level so the door slides evenly across the doorway. And then we'll start putting in the first screw into the stud to attach the board to the wall. Battery went out. So we'll go ahead and screw them into the studs all the way across. And when our board is attached, we'll go ahead and we'll grab our hardware and we'll lay the track up there along the marks that I put on the board earlier. We'll now take the lag bolts and the spacers. We'll lay them into those holes that I pre-drilled. Make sure we have them directly on center and we'll screw them in. It's important at this point not to screw them in all the way. You want to leave that top track loose so that when you test with the door, you make sure the door is sitting exactly where it's supposed to be sitting. So we'll get each one of those screwed in. And once they're up, we'll grab the door and we'll test fit it. Once the door rolls back and forth, we'll go ahead and we'll tighten all the screws, all the bolts down, the lag screws down, till it's nice and even. And then we'll test the door slide back and forth to make sure the door is exactly where it is and the door is hung. Here's a picture of the finished door going into my office. Looks great. Beautiful addition to the room. Now I made two of these and here's the other one that goes into our laundry room in our hallway. Great looking doors. You can do it yourself as well. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and keep on our channel for more projects.